Hello, y'all. It's now 3.20 p.m. I'm still in my storage unit. So, um, after the stuff with that lady, and I think that was her dad, and they were moving stuff in here, and the lady, I heard her making a lot of, you know, like as if she was pushing and pulling heavy stuff herself. And that man, I didn't hear him at all. Because it was all quiet for a while. Then I started to doze. It was quiet for a good almost half hour. Then I started to doze off. And um, start to go to sleep. And then I heard her, you know, physically moving stuff. Sounds like by herself. And then... The dad, I think they were kind of briefly arguing for a brief moment. You know, more like arguing on where to put stuff or something. I don't know what they were arguing about. It ain't my business, but um, I just heard, you know, them kind of debating on where to put this or whatever. And so then it seems like as if she was, you know, pushing and pulling heavy stuff. And I'm like, oh, hell no. So I had to put my earbuds in. And so I put my earbuds in. And finally went to sleep. And I guess I slept for about two or two and a half hours. More like two hours. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, somewhere around two and two and a half hours. And I woke up with that forced urination and had to go pee. And so, um, I had to go pee. And then, I partially succeeded at peeing on myself despite having the bladder pad on but here at this storage unit i gotta replace the bladder pads and a few other things bladder pads i need i mean i need to um get more trash bags out of here see some of this is some of the stuff that you know that i bought earlier um you know this month With my, I mean, I didn't spend my whole paycheck on all that stuff, but I didn't spend my entire paycheck on all that. But, um, you know, I had to get some trash bags. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I I didn't spend my entire paycheck on all that stuff the way the online perps are trying to say, you know. So, um, my phone storage space is at about 90%. Um, in this storage, my unit right here, on this phone, I can only get emergency calls only. And for some odd reason, I can't call nobody, but I guess I can receive text messages, but I can't call nobody. But I don't know if I can, if I send a text message, I don't know if I can receive it. You know, I'm I'm sorry. I mean, I don't I meant to say, if I send a text message, I don't know if they will receive it. Um, so, I don't know if that was, um, a loud truck or a plane. Whatever that was, that was loud. So, I can't be on here that much longer, even though I'm in complete dark now, because the lights have turned on out in the hallway Oh, it looked like somebody had just walked through here because one of the lights turned back on. So, I need to get bladder pads, trash bags, and a few other little supplies. Because when I would be homeless out on the streets, and I need to get my sleeping bag too. The sleeping bag I don't like. But, um, and I had to switch out certain underclothes and stuff like that and certain clothes I'm gonna get a different t-shirt to wear I thought I had some more clothes in here but not so much pants or shorts I don't remember what I have but I'm, I'm gonna need to when it starts to get cold get some more pairs of pants and I'm gonna need to get a hood another hoodie and another big winter coat, like around October, November, because um, 
me being forced to leave all my stuff at Trisha's house. So I have, like, not now, but I'm talking about next month or the month after I'm going to have to get a hoodie and, um, I have to get pants. I, I mean, pa hoodie pants and a bigger coat. But I was hoping that I could, you know, have a job opportunity or an opportunity to, um, let's see, a job opportunity or an opportunity to, um, you know, make money from my writings and stuff. Um, so I was hoping I could have something like that. You know, I really don't want a job opportunity unless I would want something that's entrepreneurial. But I wish that I could be, you know, survival kind of success, not lavish kind of success with, um, you know, making money from my writings and stuff. And I'm going to be vocal and outspoken on talking about how much I wish I could make money from my writings and get paid, you know, but Star Bricker would try to make like, I better not dare try again. Like as if she want me to bully me to make me learn my lesson from ever publishing an Amazon ebook again, even if it's fiction. You know, and all it is is she's mad because I exposed her. I didn't even use her name. I just used her username, Star Fifteen K, and showed the videos of me talking about her harassing me and stuff. But she shouldn't have harassed me in the first place. I didn't even know the lady. So, um. She harassed me because she's a perp. She knows it. And so, um, but I mean, she's not even a good gaslighter, though. She's not even that talented of a, or skilled of a gaslighter. I can still see her trying to try to, you know, shut me down or gaslight me or whatever. And it's like she acting like as if she'd been assigned to me for almost three years. So, I mean, I thought about yesterday or today, I thought about what if I were to write <clears throat> some form of longer piece of fiction and or maybe a a short fictional ebook or something, maybe a novel or something, a shorter novel or novella and publish it for me and my twin sister's birthday on Amazon. But... I have to just put things on my blog now because she the only one. Well, then the other perps started to follow suit and start to just write false, bad reviews, even on a Goodreads website. So, um, and then on my main targeted, I mean, the tar gang stalked and targeted by the Psych World ebook that I wrote. Um, a lot of those links that I post. You know, Starbreaker kept trying to attack the first target about a Psych World channel. She succeeded at doing the main Psych World channel. And she attacked all my channels. And it's like, all my YouTube channels nearly getting succeed successfully taken down behind one person. And she nearly wiped out my Twitter also. Wow, sounds like a perp listening in. They're extra quiet, but I see some lighting. So I can't be on here too much longer. It's 3.29 p.m. Let's see. Well, it's Saturday anyway, so I would have had to wait till 4.30, even on, on a normal schedule. But these three buses, 31, 63, and 43, now, even during the weekday, I have to do a Saturday schedule. Would the buses run on a Saturday? Now they're making noise. So, it would be on a Saturday schedule. They're doing this on purpose. Right after I said they're so quiet, now I hear riffraff and noise. So, um, being on a Saturday schedule, the buses run every two hours. And even during the weekday, the buses do not run on time. They might run like 30 minutes late and, and then I have to be forced to take a cab or Uber or something. You know, <clears throat> so 
Well, yeah, I mean, I was able to take me a, about two or two and a half hour nap. And I feel a little more refreshed, but still feeling a little woozy. <clears throat> and so I got to gather certain things. And, um, I got to gather certain things. I'm going to switch out this dress for another t-shirt and, sh and these shorts, you know. And I thought I had more clothes than I actually have, but I got to dig through this, this thing, you know. So I got, like, no internet access n until after I walk out of this unit. I might have to walk downstairs or outside in order to possibly get some phone activity but I've been up in here you know trying to just rest since I couldn't go to the library <clears throat> and my day didn't turn out as planned originally planned you know but I didn't eat lunch and I'm debating on whether or not to um have an early um I hate to do it really early but I guess it's my opportunity to, um, like, one of these places in the mall, um, I get to have a free birthday burger, and I, and they say I can use it anytime for August, <clears throat> and then I can get a free chocolate, piece of chocolate cake, I can get any time for August, when Dixie has, where I can get free birthday ice cream of any but I'm a, I feel bad because see I'm just one person I'm just one person and um you know I won't be able to eat all that ice cream by myself you know and let's see what else um Denny's you can eat free on your birthday I hop they didn't send me anything this year maybe I have to reapply and so I guess I like for the past couple of years I've been keeping it cool with the birthday freebies and just select a few rather than try to get every birthday freebie that there is available. Me being scared, oh what if God might punish me for covetousness or something. <clears throat> but you know, they come in handy and help out the birthday freebies come in handy and help out um when you're poor and homeless and struggling, just like the Thanksgiving dinners and you ain't got nothing else to eat. <clears throat> so I did a blog, you know, talking about the birthday thing yesterday or the day before I did the blog, you know. So the blog post. So, um, yeah, I'm about hungry right now. And, but if I go to that place today and get a burger I don't know if I get to charge my phone I don't know if I get to charge my phone but I forgot what else I can go to where else I can go to to get birthday freebies some of them I don't know if they might wait until a week before I mean my twin sister's birthday if, if I might wait I mean if it's a week before and um, you can get birthday freebies like a week before. I mean, I mean a week before if they might start issuing out, you know, coupons the week before. But I signed up, you know, and even in 2012, I mean 2013 and stuff like that. I try to encourage my twin sister, you know, if she wanted birthday freebies, you know, she can. I try to encourage her, and then she get an attitude with me and get mad at me. Now, like, see, this is why we get into an argument, because I be trying to be nice and, you know, try to be helpful and to all my family, you know, whatever information I have, you know, they just want to get an attitude and act like they don't want to be bothered and just for no reason at all and just be rude and cruel for no and get an attitude and lash out and scream at me for no reason at all. And even the foster family used to treat me the same way. So then one time my twin sister said, well, no, I can't take advantage of any birthday freebies because then I will have to pay for China on, on, you know, well, how about you let China have her because both of their birthdays in August too. China is supposedly August 1st or something. Same day as Masonic, thank Cheryl from the Masonic Smelly Craft family. Her birthday is on August 1st also. I thought it was the second but hers is also so it's a lot of august birthdays the foster sister shelly's birthday is august 4th 
the foster cousin Mildred, you know, August 23rd. My biological cousin whore Rebecca, August 10th. Just passed, you know. But they she got treated, that's my cousin, and she got treated way, I'm pretty sure she got treated way better for her birthday than, than ours. So, you know. Um, and then the biological brother Wyatt's in September 10th. But, um, I don't think Wyatt really care about birthday or nothing, you know. But I, you know, <clears throat> debating on whether, I mean, I can't even celebrate birthday, but I did a blog post a couple of, a day or two ago, I did a blog post, you know, just talking about birthday experiences and how a targeted individual basically can't celebrate their birthday the same way as normal people and then I'm debating because I'm like if birthdays are considered you know selfish or evil or whatever I don't know but I feel like figure that just like Thanksgiving is considered evil but you feel like you ain't got no choice but to you know eat that food if you're homeless and hungry and that, and that kind of food is offered to you I mean why not take it but for Christmas you'd be afraid being homeless and accepting gifts Christmas gifts from people because, you know, a pagan satanic holiday for Christmas. But then if you're homeless and you need some doggone socks, then shucks, they'll come in handy, you know. And you're not really trying to celebrate the holiday, but if you need socks, you need socks, dog it. You know, if you need a, you need a coat, you need a coat. Like, I definitely need a coat. I need a coat. <clears throat> so, um, I'm sitting here rambling on. It's in the dark, so I'm sitting here hoping that my stuff wouldn't um take up too my phone wouldn't take up too much storage space because um I won't be able to do a gang stalking perp walk on the way walking to the bus stop because my hands will be kind of full and <clears throat> um I just have to take pictures. I just have to take pictures on the way going, you know, back to the bus stop. And then I'm going to go, the perps will, I don't even have to announce I'm going to the mall, but the perps will be there at the mall anyway, you know. So this bus right here, I have to take a 10 minute walk, 10 or 15 minute walk to the um bus stop. And then, um... 10 or 15 minute walk to the bus stop and then um let's see 10 or 15 minute bus walk to the bus stop and then I gotta wait there and they come well later in the afternoon they usually come later but I ain't taking no chances you know gotta try to walk out of here by 4 15 to be walking out of here by 4.15 and then the bus would come like way out 4.40 or 4.45 or even 4.50. It comes later in, in, in the afternoons, but I don't trust that because, you know, I walked out of here that time. I think it was 2.30. I walked, I mean, I'm sorry, 2.20. I walked out of here. And it was 2.20 p.m. that I wa was walking out of these doors. And then that Michael Brooks guy, you know, usually about the 40 of the 35 or 40 of the hour, the buses usually pass by. But the bus driver, Michael Brooks, just wanted to be evil and pass me up. And then he took advantage of my storage space being low on my phone because I already had videos that weren't yet uploaded. So he took advantage of that so I couldn't film all the dirty shit that he did, you know. And then when I rode the bus, the 45 with him the other day, um, I was trying to put, you know, some certain change cards, 15 cents each on the change cards. And he got an attitude with me saying, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? He kept saying, what you want me to say? With an attitude and stuff, you know, and it's like. I can now identify and tell y'all all the damn bus drivers who are perps. And some of them, Alex Dupree, try to turn them into being rude to me and trying to turn them to acting like perps towards me. But then a couple of the bus drivers, it didn't work, you know. But they knew I'm a 
I'm, that I'm a good person. And they went back to behind Alex back, you know, treating me like normal. But the other ones, they follow his fucking agenda. But Alex, I have, I'm glad it's been almost a whole fucking year. And I might freaking celebrate that like a damn birthday. If I haven't seen that motherfucker since September 26th. Um, if I might go take a dog on celebration and celebrate if I haven't seen him. <laughs> oh, what a relief. I thought I was never, I thought that man would never let up. But you, you never know. You know, I get really scared sometimes because sometimes I don't see him for a while. And he'll leave me alone when I'm in hotels and motels. But then when I would be back on the streets, that's when he'd be there to harass again. So, um... It's like some of my videos, since I can't go to the library, I need to figure out, I mean, it would be hard to do on my phone to try to um get certain videos about him and show y'all the proof of his harassment and stuff. But then even uh, the online perps will reverse it and make it like he's the damn victim. I'm har harassing him. Why would I, a black young under 40 year old female i'm 38 going on 39 why the hell would i stalk following harass an elderly white man or or you think it would be something vice versa when he admitted that he's a a freemason and not a christian and i showed y'all that proof in one of my recent community posts so let me stop rambling on because i know that my phone storage space is eating up now and i don't i don't have a i have to um you know, just take pictures of the gang stalking on the way walking. And my hands are going to be full. My backpack is going to be full with, and replenished with, you know, bladder pads. Since y'all forced to urinate me. And um, I have, you know, change the clothes and everything. So, I'll see y'all.